for mayor of Des Moines is really heating up now that the runoff election is less than three weeks away. Mayor Frank County and his opponent, former state Senator Jack Hatcher, stepping up their attacks on each other. KCCI's chief political reporter Cynthia Fodor is in studio tonight to show us this change in tone. And if you're watching TV, you might have seen it. The candidates for mayor are engaging in a new war of words with television ads, one that just started airing a couple of hours ago. What do we know about Jack Hatch? He's a career politician and a big developer who fills his pockets with your tax dollars. This new ad for Frank County takes aim at Jack Hatch for profiting from tax credits as a local developer. Talk about a conflict of interest. Jack Hatch, he's in it for himself, not for us. Hatch's new parody attacks County. Welcome to Lifestyles of Mayor County. Using a Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous theme to paint a picture of a globe-trotting mayor. He has taken a staggering 150 trips to luxurious destinations. Have you ever seen this before in any of your races? I have not. It's a typical, you know, it's a negative campaign, unlike ours. Both candidates are defending themselves against the negative claims. It's a lie. I didn't, I didn't vote for those. And I purposely abstained from those state tax credits that he is referring to. Hatch says he did not pay himself $7 million. The figures are misleading as, as $7.1 million in developer fee. That pays for all of my company's expenses. The mayor says he never exceeded his travel budget. We can't just sit in Des Moines and, and hope that the money comes in. You have to make a case for it. Attending meetings that brought $32 million in grants and national recognition to the city. My travel has brought home tens of millions of dollars for bridges, for roads, for projects, and for firefighters. Um, I'm proud of that. Now Hatch says he is considering asking the county campaign to pull the ads against him off the air. Both campaigns say they have based the information and facts in their TV ads on Des Moines Register articles. Steve? 